Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. In this set, we are given a table, and it says the table shows the marks secured by eight students in an entrance examination conducted by a reputed B school. There were three subjects: verbal reasoning and quant, and they had three papers each. So all three subjects had three papers. Each paper was of twenty marks. The table also gives the average marks obtained in three papers of each of the subjects. And the last column represents the sum of these average marks. So for every subject, you will have to attempt in three papers. You get an average, and all these three averages are added to get the total score of the students. All students appeared in all the papers, and no student scored zero marks in any of the given papers. Okay, so all these scores are positive numbers. And some things are given to us. these are the conditions which are given to us and here are the questions if you wish to solve the set on your own okay so now let us see that how are we going to approach this set based on the given conditions and solve for the question so the information that is presented to us is the average marks okay average fine except for the marks already mentioned in the table no student scored 20 out of 20 in any of the papers right so all these values are positive numbers that means these are from 1 to 19 right these numbers the missing numbers are 1 to 19 then uh, some information some information some information the marks secured by the students in all papers and the averages are all integers okay so of course these are integers the averages are also all integer values based on these conditions we are given some more data let us fill that the average marks of all students in verbal 1 quant 3 verbal overall and reasoning overall are these now since there are eight students we will multiply these numbers by 8 to get the totals so verbal 1 the total will be 128 so this total is 128 next we have quant 3 quant 3 the total will be 80 so this total is 80 then 14 and 14 that means 112 verbal overall and reasoning overall so average in verbal as well as average in reasoning total will be 112 okay so this is done alam and him secured equal average marks a prime number in verbal so they had alam and him they had same equal marks a prime number so this is a prime number let us call it e okay then Ita scored a total of forty-seven marks in verbal two, three, and quant one papers altogether. So verbal two, verbal three, and quant one, the total is forty-seven. Now this shall help us figure out her marks in these subjects, okay? And then apart from this, we are given that uh, the average marks secured by Alam and him in reasoning are distinct prime numbers. Now these are distinct prime numbers. So these numbers are, let us say, P1 and P2 respectively. Okay, so this is the entire data given to us. Now we will use some numerical reasoning plus uh, calculate the missing totals to get the numbers. Okay, so let us try to fill the table. First of all, let's start with Geeta because we are given some data about her and her uh, average marks in one of the papers is known. Another we can calculate and we can find this average as well. Okay, so we will try to fill in these totals. This total, this total, this total, this total, and the numbers that we are given. So it is given that the, these three numbers add to forty-seven. She has an average of sixteen over here, so her total will be forty-eight. This is nineteen, so these two numbers will add to twenty-nine. Okay, twenty-nine, and this is forty-seven, so this means the missing number is eighteen. Okay, next step. Her marks and reasoning are known to us. So four plus nineteen plus nineteen, that is forty-two. Average marks are fourteen here. So sixteen plus fourteen, thirty. Then her total is forty-eight. So this total should be uh, her average marks and quant should be eighteen. Okay, eighteen means this is eighteen twenty, that is thirty-eight. She should get sixteen marks here. Okay. So now we are left with these two values. Right. And uh, we need to find these values also to get the the these missing values, right? Now let us look for some person whose marks are given to us. 
uh, Alam, the marks are not given. Bhushan, nothing is given. Kush, nothing much is given. Tanya also, uh, we cannot get things uh, from this information. Maybe we can fill this information that is 9, so total will be 27. So 17 plus 10 will be 27 that we can fill. Right, then we have, if we see Falak, for Falak, some of the marks are given to us. That is 17 plus 17, 34 plus 5, 39. So our average is 13 over here. Okay, and uh, then uh, no other total is given to us. Right, now our task is to find these sums. Okay, so one sum is this, one sum is this, another sum, another sum. So row wise, we have filled all the information that was available with us. Now we need to fill column wise. Okay. Now, if we see this total is 128, let us add these values 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 37 is 97. So, we need 31 more. So, these two should add to 31. Okay. Now, how we'll figure it out later. Just put 31 as a collective total of these two values. And this 29 we have already filled, we are not given anything else. Let us jump to this number. Okay. Now uh, we are given P, P, that's a prime number. Uh, what prime number can it be? Let us figure out. Okay, since we do not know these two numbers, uh, we cannot figure out uh, the value of P directly. So one thing that we can do is, see, Alam has 13 plus 12 over here. That is 25 is already done. Okay, now it can go from 1 to 19 in the third subject. So basically Alam's total can be from 26 to 44. Now, uh, like this is less than 9 and this is less than 13, right? So, prime numbers between these two ranges is you will get 11 or 13. So, the value of P could be 11 or 13. Let us see for him. So, this total is 26. So, 26 plus same thing. It will be 27 to 45. Again, the possible values are 11 or 13, right? So, let us put the values over here, 11 or 13. Okay, so that is one possibility. Now let us see this total if we can make something out of it. So this column we have sorted, we will figure it out later. Let's try this one. Again, in this case, we have 22 already done. Okay, so 22 minimum uh, like the person plus 1 to 19. So that will be 23 to 41, right? So uh, th this is the total. The, uh, the prime numbers can be 11 or 13. So P1 could be 11 or 13 over here. Similarly, this is 17. 17 plus 1 to 19, that is between uh, 18 to, this is for A, this is for H, 18 to 37, right? So the prime numbers can range is 7 or 11. Right? So the possible values are, this P2 can be 7 or 11. Okay, so these are the possible values. Now let us do one thing. We will, and this is given that the average marks of Alam and Him in reasoning are distinct prime numbers. So they have to be different. So if P1 is equal to 11, then P2 will be equal to 7. If P1 is equal to 13, P2 will be 11, right? Now there is one missing number over here for Falak. Let us use that. So this is 9 plus 15, that is 24. 24 plus 32 is 56 plus 14, it is 70, right? 70 plus Falak's total plus P1 plus P2 is equal to 112, right? So P1 plus P2 could be 18 or 24. So if you take this as 18, this total should come out as 24. But this is not possible because the maximum marks are 20, right? So one cannot have an average score of more than 20. So this is not possible. If we consider this case, P1 plus P2 is 24. So this total is going to be 18. Now this will help us find Falak scores in all the subjects also. Okay. So P1 is 13 and P2 is 11. Let us fill all these values. 13 and 11 and Falak score is 18. Now if Falak score is 18, should get total of 54. 38 plus 16 is 54. Okay. Now Falak has got 13 over here, 16 here, 29 should get a total of 14 here. So 14 means a total of 42. This 23 plus 19 is 42. Okay. 
Fallock score is done. And there are a couple of questions related to Fallock also that could be solved. Okay. Now coming to the next part, we now have uh, marks of these two people as 11 or 13. One number that is still pending with us is this quant score, right? So let us do one thing. Let us assume a value for this p, which is 11 or 13. Let us assume one of the values and see if we can get the values of uh, uh, these numbers. Okay. So let us take, let us for instance take the value as 11. Okay. So we are starting with a case. We are taking the value as 11. If 11 does not work out, then we will look for 13. Suppose we take 11 and 11 over here, then what happens? Okay. So if we are taking 11, I am writing this in green so that if it does not work out, we can remove it. So 13 plus uh, 12 is 25 plus 8 should give 33 and this is 26 plus 7 would give 33. Okay. Now 11, 11 and 13 is 24, right? 24 and this average should be 12. Okay. Uh, sorry, this average should be 12 over here so that it makes 36, 11, 24 and 12, 36. Now in this case, this will be 17. Uh, and uh, total is to uh, average is 12 so 36 that is 17 plus 19 is 36 okay now if you put 19 over here and uh, this is already uh, 39 44 44 plus 8 is 52 59 75 so this value is 5 if this value is 5 we have to get an average of 15 which is total should be 45 Right, total 45 now you need 21 to make it 45 isn't it if you have to get a total of 45 you need to make it 21 which is not possible so this means our assumption over here whatever we have written in green is not possible we have to take the value of the prime number as 13 okay so this should solve a lot of other things so this 11 is not possible this is 13 this is 13 now we can fill in the values uh, 13 so 13 12 and 14 that will make it 39 this is 39 so 26 plus 13 is 39 right and then we can move on to fill in the values uh, this we could already fill 6 11 and 16 that should fill and uh, here we have 13 and then uh, if you fill 13 that is 22 plus 17 is 39 now this is 13 this is 13 that is 26 this average should be 10 and if this is 10 this was 17 17 plus 13 is 30 which makes the average as 10 now we can add these values this is 20 20 plus 20 is uh, 40 50 53 and then we have uh, 69 that will be 11 to make it 80 if this is 11 in that case we will get this value as 30 plus 15 that is that makes it 45 and this also satisfies now we can also find the total marks of h which is 13 plus 11 24 plus 15 that is 59 okay so we have figured out all these values now we have used this sum we have used this sum we have used this sum three sums have been used and one of the values is remaining over here we know the total is 31 now we can move on to see the questions and see how it is done okay so i'll bring out the table over here which we just calculated right so this is the entire table with the filled values and the first question here is that sum of average marks secured by fallock and hame in reasoning so in reasoning fallock plus hame that is 29 okay now let us look at the other question second question we are yet to find out total score of hame that is 39 Fallock secured in quant 2. So in quant 2, Fallock secured a total of 13 marks. And sum of marks scored by Alam and Haim in quant 3. So in quant 3, Alam and Haim have a total of 24. This is done. Now one question remains. Which of the following can be the average marks scored by Dhanya in verbal? Okay. Now comes the interesting part. So Dhanya and Ish have a total of 31. Right. Now we need to fit these two values. Let us go back here and in which we were given that this total is 112. Okay. So this total is 112. Now we need to find their sum as well. Okay. So this is uh, 
13 into 339 and 39 plus 32 is 71, 86. So these two values add to 26. Okay. Some of these two values is 26, some of these two values is 31. Now let us look at each. Each can have a maximum of 20 over here, but that is not possible. Right? So it has to be less than 20. Okay. Less than 20, that means each total is each in verbal is less than 42. Right. So maximum each can get is 39 to get an average integer over here. Right. So if each gets 39, so if each gets 39, his total will be 13. Dhanya will get 13. Okay. So dhanya in verbal could be 13. Now, if you want to rule out the other possibilities, let us look at that as well. Right? So these two should be 31. These two should be 26. Okay? Now, uh, if you try to make it 12, right? So let us say we make it 12. We need a total of 14 here, right? But that is not possible because each cannot get 20 marks here. So that is not possible. So lower values are ruled out. Let us see if we can make it 15 or higher value. So if you make dhanya as 15 in verbal, that means we need to make each as uh, 11, right? Uh, 11 and 11, we need a total of, uh, uh, we need to make total of 11 marks. That means we need over 11 over here. But is 11 possible? Let us see one more thing. Because if you make it 11, then you have 33, uh, 33 over here. That will make 11. But there was one more total which was given to us and this was 128, right? So these two totals were 31. Okay, so these two totals were 31. That means in order to make it 11, we need 20 here, which is not possible, right? So 15 is not possible. Definitely 16 will also not be possible because for 16, we need to make it 10, right? And we will have to make 8 and that will make it 23, right? So that is also not possible. So the only possible value that we have here is 13 right uh, 13 and 14 would also have been possible but among the given values only 13 is possible so that is the answer to this question so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions i hope you loved solving this set